Dr. Angie, one of the questions I'm really looking forward to having you answer for me is how much protein do we actually need? Some people think they need to eat their weight in protein. Other people are just, they don't know where to start. Could you help me with this one? Absolutely. This is a, such a good question because I get asked the same question over and over again. Um, Melissa and I are obviously very much into fitness and uh, we know a lot of fitness people who are sometimes hesitate, hesitant to switch to a plant-based diet because they just feel like they may not be getting, getting enough protein. So I just want to first of all give you some reassurance that plant-based protein, um, in fact, uh, let's say the soybean for example, plant-based protein contains all of the essential amino acids and it's the same quality without the harmful effects that would come from animal protein. So if you are hesitant that the plant-based protein does not contain all of the essential amino acids, I just want to give you reassurance right now. But then the question is how much protein do you actually need? Well, you just have to look at the studies. The evidence is clear. When you look at the studies, it's, it shows that the RDA has done calculations and they actually overestimated how much protein one needs and it turns out to be 0.6 grams per kilograms of body lean body mass per day. So just for the sake of simplicity, they say, well, okay, 0.6 to one, let's just say one, just so we can make the math super easy. Okay. So one gram per kilogram of lean body mass per day. Okay. So if somebody is 110 pounds like me divided by 2.2, that's 50 kilograms. Okay. So I would need 50 grams of protein per day. Now let's make it even more simple. So you don't even have to do any calculations. Okay just for the sake of simplicity, an adult female would need a, between 50 to 70 uh, grams of protein per day and an adult male between 60 to 80 grams of protein per day. So just make it simple, 70 grams at most. And trust me, being on a plant-based diet is basically um, eating fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, grains, and legumes. It is extremely easy to hit that target value where you never have to sit there and count your protein to make sure that you're getting enough. You just have to believe me if you did the calculations, which if you want to go ahead, but let me tell you, it's been done before. And plenty of people who are fitness competitors, IFBB pros, natural physique, they're eating this way and they're gaining muscles. Look at Melissa. Melissa does the same thing. Look at me. I've never counted how much gram, how many grams of protein I eat per day. And luckily the plant-based protein is very complete and it comes into these naturally uh, grown foods from the earth, from the tree, from the ground, etc. Perfect. That really does answer my question. So we don't have to be overly concerned with it. Definitely not. And if we're eating a plant-based whole foods diet, we're getting more than enough. Absolutely. I mean, if you, if you just ate, um, fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, not even tofu. I mean, I've noticed, like I would substitute sometimes just because I love tempeh and tofu. Mm -hmm. Um, those items are very high in protein. If you just like, for breakfast, for example, I'd eat oatmeal and for lunch, I'd eat a, um, a large salad with greens and I'd put half a can of beans and already I have hit my daily value mm -hmm. of protein. Mm -hmm. So I don't even have to eat dinner because of theoretically I hit my protein count, right? But um, if you add tempeh and tofu, I, I've noticed that you just go way over, mm -hmm. right? So I guess my point here is that there should not be a concern. Mm -hmm. Eat to enjoy your food and the protein just happens to be there. You don't have to obsessively count it. It's a bodybuilding thing to do. Mm -hmm. These guys want to go on stage and they want these perfect physiques with every little muscle fiber showing. And mm -hmm. you know, to achieve a look like that, you need to know every single carb, fat, mm -hmm. protein, every single macronutrient has to be calculated. Every mm -hmm. single calorie has to be calculated. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I'm not a bodybuilder. You're right. not a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Why would we sit there and instead of enjoying the delicious food, why should we sit there and count the macros? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? I do. And then now a lot of women and men are looking to lose weight. Okay, if you're looking to lose weight, again, what's the role of macro counting? It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you want to lose weight, you have to be in a negative energy balance. So all that matters is the calories. So once again, you know, it makes no no sense to be obsessed over the protein and then people who don't listen and go on and be obsessed about their protein anyway this is what happens they go well my trainer fitness trainer at the gym said I have to have 120 grams of protein mm -hmm. so this is what happens you know they have a, everybody has a calorie budget so the same person who has a calorie budget of 1200 calories will go and get 125 grams of protein mm -hmm. that leaves very little room for macronutrient foods delicious foods like fruits mm -hmm. vegetables nuts seeds grains and legumes right. so what you end up doing is you don't get enough fiber right because mm -hmm. you're overloading your system with protein right so that makes a lot of sense thank you so much for breaking that down for My us absolute pleasure mm -hmm.